When the dot-com bubble burst in the late 1990s, it took a lot of businesses out of the online landscape. But many of the Internet addresses of that era, mostly dot-coms, are still in existence. In fact, there are 94 million dot-coms out there. So what's an Internet governing body, the keeper of the suffixes, to do towards clearing out the clutter? Right, yeah. Move on. ICANN, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, has voted to allow virtually any name to become an Internet suffix. That means that soon a visit to iPhone.Apple or Android.Google will take you to the corporate site. No .com, .biz, or .net required. The decision is the biggest change to the system since .com made its debut in 1984. So how do you get one? Start with deep pockets, for one. Groups able to pay the $185,000 application fee can petition next year for new extensions. ICANN will keep those fees, which could quickly amount to millions, if not billions of dollars, if the move gains footing. Warren Levinson, Associated Press, New York.